in our previous session we saw how to elaborate the use case uh, using use case specification document uh, and also by looking uh, by creating activity diagrams now let's look at a feature of the tool which helps us in doing the same thing as well so i'll double click on this manage subject i'll go to scenarios and in that i have basic path see here but i don't do anything here itself i go to structure editor and here i can describe the steps one by one so let's uh, actually start describing the steps the training manager chooses to manage subjects in the system now that in the system is important especially the word system and here at the bottom you have entry points context re context references and constraints so let's go to context reference here you already have training manager and hr application now how 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 is this uh, coming into picture because if we go to use case view you will notice that it is already associated with training manager right it is already associated with the training manager and hr application actually we don't require in this particular uh, use case so i delete it now let me add one more context reference let me add an element let's name it system under development let the type be class and save and exit so i've got this system under development here and here in the context reference under that i add a context reference i hunt for that system under development and i add it okay now many times what will happen is the steps will disappear right so just close it and open it again go to scenario structure editor and it will come back some problem with that okay anyhow uh, so now i don't say system i say system under development okay let let it be system itself let's rename this as system just to keep it simple again that step disappeared so let's let's open that again scenarios structure editor chooses to manage subjects in the system context reference i have to add that context reference here so let's add it the moment i add it it also gets underlined okay. now the second step is what the system shall display available options and the options are add modify enable disable a subject okay so the next step would be the training manager chooses to add subject in the system then the system shall display a blank subject template the training manager enters the subject details in the system the training manager confirms the details in the system the system shall save the subject details and the use case ends yes and this will be it doesn't matter now if you notice here you have actor you have system right here system system it has lost track because what it uh, assumes is that each step will be alternatively done by the actor and the use case but so we should uh, ideally just verify that it is corresponding properly 
Now training manager, this should also be actor. So double click on that, it will become an actor. Similarly, use case sense, actually it doesn't matter whether it is a system or the actor. Okay, so I've described the steps. Now, when he chooses to add subject, instead of choosing to add a subject, he could have chosen to modify a subject. So that means after the second step, there are multiple paths. So any deviation from this, we can add it as an alternate path. So let's add an alternate path. Let's say modify subject is an alternate path and say okay. Right now, if we go to entry points here. Modify subject has got added as an entry point. Since we added it to the third step, and this is the first alternate path in the third step, it is numbering it as 3A. Now, if I double click on modify subject, I get a separate or a new scenario where I can describe the steps. This um, flow starts when the training manager what i can do is instead of being so wordy i can just say the training manager chooses to modify certain details in the system the system shall retrieve and display the list of subjects the training manager selects a subject in the system. The system shall retrieve and display the subject details. The training manager makes the necessary changes in the system. Let's take care of this changes and makes the necessary changes okay then what happens once he makes the changes the training manager confirms the changes or what we can do because the next step would be the system shall save the changes and the use case ends so we can it is already those three steps are already there so what I can do is go to modify step and delete this step and say that modify subject ends, doesn't end, it goes back to the sixth step of the basic path. Right? So we have described the basic path, we have described the modify subject. Now, what is the advantage of describing it like this? You see this, it will generate an activity diagram. Yes, that's the biggest advantage of taking that little bit of extra pain in describing these steps. Okay. Let's go back here. I can also generate a sequence diagram. Now, if you notice here, the training manager chooses to manage subjects in the system. The system shall display available options. The training manager chooses to add subject in the system. So, now do you realize the importance of... Oh, it disappeared. So, let's go back and open it again. In scenarios, what happened? Structure editor. Okay. The advantage of putting it like this chooses to manage subjects in the system. If I don't specify in the system, if I just training manager chooses to manage subjects. Now let's see what happens when I generate a sequence diagram. You see this arrow is going to itself. All right. So that is the importance of 
specifying a target in the system in the i am just typing so that it makes a, a proper sentence even if i don't specify in the right it will still work yes so this again is well. scenarios structure editor so but while reading it it, it somehow doesn't uh, gel so in the system that is one thing second thing is you can actually generate the documentation right so publish publish uh, let's say report builder generate documentation let's go to documents and manage subject rt f right and we can choose any of these use case details let's say and i say generate yes now you see this manage subject these are the steps being described this is coming from the scenarios the training manager chooses to manage subjects in the system i removed it remember system shall display available options the training manager chooses to add subjects alternate 3a modify subject shall display so it's con continuous on to describing the basic path itself but it also mentions at this point that there is a alternate flow as well so modify subject the training manager chooses to modify subject details and the best part is you can actually customize this template as well okay let's get rid of those things so you got the idea so that is the scenario editor using uh, enterprise architect that's it bye for now